Monica Palumbo hanging out with Mr. Larry McReynolds, and it's NASCAR 101 time. Um, and I've been doing this for a few years, and fans always ask me these questions, but I figured, since you're the expert, we're going to ask you, why is pit location so important in a race? Well, when you look at the competition, Monica, on the racetrack, it's, it's tough out there, but the competition on pit road is almost as keen as it is on the racetrack. When you look at these guys changing four tires up at 19 gallons of Sunoco race fuel, in right around 11 or 12 seconds. And like Earnhardt used to tell me, I can pass him a lot easier by a pit stop on pit road than I can out on the racetrack. But there's so many different things that these guys look at. Uh, you hope to pick a pit by a couple of teams maybe that's gonna go a lap down where you don't have to fight them when you make a pit stop. Obviously in the perfect world, if you qualify good enough, you'll get the number one pit spot. Most tracks we go to, it's the last pit box leaving pit road or maybe there's an opening that you can get by. The other thing these crew chiefs really look hard at, it's getting harder and harder with the way NASCAR's doing it, is maybe where the pit road timing lines, the scoring loops are, because if you can pit right on top of a scoring loop, that almost gives you two segments where your driver doesn't have to worry about speeding on pit road. How do they determine pit location if qualifying is ringed out? Well, obviously, if, if we have qualifying, you pick by how you qualify. But if it gets rained out, there's a couple of ways they can go about doing it. If we have practice before qualifying and qualifying gets rained out, by the new rules in 2011, the field is set by who was fastest to the slowest in practice. So that's how they would pick their pits. If we have no practice, no qualifying, and it's completely scratched, then it goes back to the NASCAR rule book, which is based on current owner points. That's how you start the race. That's how you pick the pits. Well, thanks to our expert, Larry McReynolds. That's NASCAR 101. And